The Crimson is a 415 round per minute hand cannon that keeps your health and magazine topped off while leaving your enemies top list. So today, we're going to be going over the perks and how it performs in PvE and PvP. Let's jump right into the video. First we're going to talk about the perks, let's start with the basics. First we have small bore, accurized round, and heavy grip. And for the intrinsic we have banned weapon, which makes this weapon fire in a 3 round burst. In the exotic trait we have cruel remedy, so that getting kills heals you and getting a precision kill refills your magazine. Cruel remedy in the right hands will set you up for some insane chain kills as long as you're getting those precision kills. And on the crimson we have one of those good old fashioned catalysts, which just adds 20 range, nothing more, nothing less. This weapon is extremely simple. No stacks, no buffs, no debuffs, not even an alternate fire, which I think makes it good for any skill level. The floor is extremely low with a relatively high ceiling. As you can see on the stats, it has triple 90s in range, impact, and stability. So it's pinpoint accurate at a fair range. This gun does have rough aim down sights after three bursts that does make it hard to see your red dot. So if you're a fan of pay to win, feel free to grab the Elodate ornament so the red dot is visible at all times. Anyways, this weapon is so extremely simple to use. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it performs in PvP. It's a beast. No if ands, or buts about it. It's a pulse rifle hand cannon mix that burst guardians down faster than you could say Worcester, 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 Shire. See, I can kill five enemies in that time. And if you get that final blow to be a precision hit, you have your clip filled instantly. The healing factor is really nice in PvP. It takes away that little annoying intermission you need between every gunfight, keeps your health full enough for constant engagements. With the Crimson, I feel like I have much better luck against SMGs because there's high firing rate. Now, I'm not sure if that's just a placebo since, you know, their gun go burr, so mine must go burr, but either way, it makes me feel better. This gun also goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with all other hand cannons from Rose to Ace of Spades. And yeah, sure, at a range, they might have you beat, but with the SMG meta right now, you're going to want a little more focus on close range. And then while I was writing the review for this weapon, I realized it was the number one hand cannon in PvP. So I don't even have to sell you on it, just literally look at everyone else using it. And if you're a hunter main, this is the perfect weapon for you. Just throw on Lucky Pants and have some insane accuracy and handling whenever you pull it out. My only complaint is the recoil blocking your view and it's less than preferred range. Other than that, it's a perfect weapon that I would consider a staple in PvP. Let's talk PvE. The Crimson gets the job done in PvE. It's not standout or absolutely horrible, it just fits right there in the middle. In lower end content like Adept Nightfalls, Normal Campaign, or Anywhere Without Champions, this weapon feels great. Just keep getting kills to keep the mag full and stay healed. It really does just allow you to cakewalk through lower end content, but when you get to higher end content, it's where I'd let the Crimson set out. It has zero splash or AoE damage. It will be locked to a single target, which means it gets outclassed by nearly any weapon with Volt Shot, Incandescent, or Destabilizing Rounds. And with it being a single target, it has just less than desirable damage. I'm not saying it's bad by any means, but there are too many other options to be rolling with this in PvE. And once again, Hunters, you can make this bad boy even better with a nice damage, accuracy, and handling boost if you're running Lucky Pants. All in all, the Crimson gets the job done in PvE, and it's a standout exotic in PvP. That's why it gets a 5 Worcestershire sauce out of 5 in PvP, and a 3.5 Worcestershire sauce in 5 P PvE. Look, if you got all the way to the end, this was obviously the best video you've ever watched. So it would mean a lot if you drop a like telling YouTube that I make really, really good videos and more people should watch. See ya!